The following video is concluding lesson one on health that we looked at and started in class. The purpose of this video is really to start to discuss the impacts of physical activity on health and in doing so look at not only the positives but and the benefits but also maybe some drawbacks. So in your green books please have the title impact of physical activity on health. If we take part in regular aerobic exercise so this can be us going out and jogging, swimming, cycling, rowing, and we do that at least 30 minutes and at least three times a week. It's going to have a hugely positive impact on our health. It's going to reduce the risk of coronary heart disease and stroke. But we'd be expected in an exam to explain that in a bit more detail. So all those terms that we've started to look at in class, things like arteriosclerosis, atherosclerosis, blood pressure, we're going to look at how physical activity can help um, impact those and hopefully reduce the risk of some of those horrible diseases. So let's start off by looking at the positive effects of regular exercise on health. If we do our regular aerobic exercise, it's going to increase the good cholesterol, those HDLs. That's good because it gets rid of the bad cholesterols, the LDLs, and takes them to the liver. If we can get rid of the bad cholesterol, the bad LDLs, it means that blood flow is going to be unrestricted. It's not going to be um, reduced as much. And this is going to lower the risk of things like heart attacks and strokes. Obviously, if we're removing cholesterol, it's going to prevent or reduce things like atherosclerosis. Remember, atherosclerosis is the buildup of those fatty plaques in the arteries. So if, the, if we can get rid of the LDLs, we're less likely to suffer from atherosclerosis. Similarly, if we get rid of the LDLs, it's going to hopefully prevent or reduce the risk of arteriosclerosis. Remember, that's when the LDLs harden those artery walls. This means that the blood vessels can maintain elasticity, they can maintain blood flow, getting lots of oxygen to where it's needed. If we can reduce cholesterol in the blood and we can reduce those fatty plaques, it's also going to reduce blood pressure. And that's going to mean there's going to be less damage to the blood vessels and less strain on the heart. And finally, if we exercise, our heart is going to get bigger and stronger. The cardiac muscle is going to be bigger and stronger. We call it cardiac hypertrophy. And that's going to increase stroke volume. So again, there's less strain on the heart. You might not think that there's such a thing, but in some instances, exercise, regular exercise, particularly at higher intensities, can have a negative impact on health. If you write this down as notes or write it as a mind map, let's just get a few ideas down. Be thinking about why or who uh, might be affected by regular exercise. So if we do intense training, it's really not recommended for anybody with a pre-existing medical condition such as cardiovascular disease. And anybody in that situation should speak to a medical professional and seek advice as soon as possible. If you put too much strain on the heart too soon, that can be damaging to health. Some exercise can put severe strain on the cardiovascular system and cause very high blood pressure. Um, so if you think about things like the London Marathon, every year you hear about people dying during the marathon. And more often than not, that's because there's been severe strain with that intense exercise on the cardiovascular system. Obviously, factors such as age and hereditary disease increase the risk. And anybody seeking to improve health through exercise should do this alongside other healthy lifestyle changes. So they need to stop smoking, have a healthy diet, etc.